first local effort was, it was merely awareness because nobody knew about it. Uh, the zoning committee was aware of it, but they weren't even going to have a meeting to discuss it. They uh, were saying just a few members of the zoning committee had decided that it was grandfathered in, so they were going to let it come in. We started arguing that, asking for the zoning committee to meet uh, because we disagreed with that. And then months later, they decided to get a legal opinion. The county attorney decided to have the zoning committee hire an attorney, and that attorney did some research and found out that the counties do not have any local control on regulating. And when I say regulating, it's just for swine can find animal feeding operations that are operated in an LLC or a corporation. Um, the LLC and corporate swine can find animal feeding operations cannot be regulated at the county level. The zoning regulations do not apply. The state does give the counties permit to decide whether they want them in their county. There's a statute that allows the, the residents of the county to petition for a vote, which is what we did. We, we went around door to door, um, started talking to people about what was going on, showing them the application so they're aware of this hawk facility, going to the newspaper in Rush County, uh, going to the county commissioners and the zoning committee to make them aware, and then we went ahead and petitioned. So in November, that this year it's going to go to vote in Rush County by the residents who live there whether they want a swine confined animal feeding operation that's at an LLC or a corporate so basically a corporate or LLC swine confined animal feeding operation we get a vote on whether we want them or not we've been told that it'll affect this one and they'll have to cease we're not for sure how that's we're not for sure how that's going to go down. You know, we're still worried about it, but uh, it'll for sure stop others from coming in and, and being put too close to someone else's home and life and uh, their water resources. So we will at least want to stop it so there's not more, but we're hoping that it'll stop this one. I'm going to compile all the notes that I was taking uh, during the conversations I was having with the citizens. Uh, and I'm going to back in contact with Dr. Mosier, uh, relay those concerns and um, express those to her and make sure that she's fully aware of what the citizenry out here is, is feeling in regards to this hog farm moving in. Um, and one of the other things that I'm going to express to her is that the existing or former hog farm that was there, which has recently been purchased, when was the last time that the regulatory uh, inspections were done? Uh, there were a lot of questions from the citizens here that, that to their knowledge, inspections or any type of uh, any type of what needed to be looked at as far as the lagoons the uh, the disposing of the uh, hog corpses all of those issues when was the last time KDHE came out and inspected that property and then if if this does move forward what is the guarantee from KDHE that they will be uh, inspecting this on a regular basis